It can be said that the term team tennis or team wrestling is a bit of an oxymoron given the individual nature of the sports. Still, as Marissa Silvis reports, the Middleton boys tennis team that serves up action at the state tournament tomorrow is taking it to another level, one they hope ends with a title. A young group, players being shifted around in the lineup, and a first year coach may seem like a lot of challenges for a team. But for Middleton, that combination led them to a second straight appearance at state. I knew a bunch of them beforehand, so I knew what level skill that we had to work with. They have played well, and I'm very impressed with them so far. I'm super proud of everyone, considering how much work we've put in in the off season, and it's like really nice to see that hard work pay off finally. It's really unbelievable. I mean, I was really lucky to come into Middleton at this time to come into such a good team. Their number one singles player, Jake Van Emberg, didn't join the team until May. When we heard he was coming back, we got excited. It gave us a shot, a better shot. He'd spent time competing in the U.S. Tennis Association's Junior Tour. Jake's given the team a big spark, winning the school's first D1 individual state championship last week. He's just something else, and like he's an incredible tennis player. And so he boosts our lineup in, like a lot. Once he did join the team, it was like a morale boost. Like it helped the team out tremendously. Everybody feels like they have to pick up their game. This will be the Cardinals' 10th appearance at state. They've been runner up three times, but are still waiting to take home their first title. I'd be really, really excited. It'd be a really happy experience, I think, for me especially, along with the rest of the team. Last year, Middleton lost in the first round. This time, they'll be facing a familiar Big 8 opponent in Madison West. Oh, I think it's really nice that we get to play another Big 8 team because we know them. We beat them last time, so we're coming in kind of hot. We were able to beat them in the conference uh, duel, and so we're just confident that we can hopefully beat them in the first round. It's going to take a lot of focus, so if we can just hold on a little bit longer and really push through, I think we have a good shot. In Middleton, Marissa Silvis. NBC 15 Sports. Thank you, Marissa. One on a note, the Bucks traded Ursan Ilyasova to Detroit for forwards Karan Butler and Sean Williams. NBC 15 News at 6. We'll be right back.